Hey guys, so recently, Decisive Strike got recently announced that it will be getting a nerf. Basically, instead of being activatable whenever, uh, after being unhooked, Decisive Strike will activate for a minute max, and you will be able to hit it if you down. And there's been a lot of heated discussion, but it's been pretty split from what I've seen. The main pattern is, Survivor mains hate it, Killer mains love it, so... Who do we believe here? Is it actually a good nerf? Well, I'm both. I'm either a survivor main or a killer main. I'm both. I play both sides equally. Therefore, my argument is not biased toward any side. And I believe that this change is extremely good. Now let me preface. Is Decisive Strike a good perk? No. I don't think Decisive Strike is a good perk. Decisive Strike is a meta perk, but does that make it necessarily good? It's a crutch perk, yes, but it's really not that good. It's activatable once, and if not used correctly, it's pretty much a waste of a perk slot. Uh, so to have it be nerfed and it wasn't even good in the first place has some people uh, heated because they think, oh, it was never good, behavior doesn't know what they're doing, because something isn't good defaultly doesn't mean that it can't be exceptionally annoying and not balanced. There's a big split between good and balanced. Or sorry, not, not good and balanced. Meta and balanced. And Disaster Strike's a meta. It's not balanced. Now, it's a balanced perk, but it might not be a meta anymore, and that's what people are concerned about. In mass, Decisive Strike was probably the most annoying perk to go against, because if a whole team ran it, you'd never get hooks, it delayed the game, people that tended to use Decisive Strike usually ran you around for a long time, so to say that Decisive Strike was finally getting a nerf and it wouldn't be the powerful perk that every survivor ran every game is definitely a good thing. And my second point is that the main reason people run this perk is because either their friends tell them about it and say that it's OP or because it's so infamously powerful that people that are new to this game often use it. And the people that do use it, like, one-tenth of them are going to be actually good with it. The rest of them, they just saw Oshido use it or something. Well, yeah, it became infinite. Let me, let me re -re 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 restate what I said, basically. It became a good perk because it was so infamous in the community. And new people that happen, happen to hop into the community saw that and they want to use it. So that's the only reason it got popular. It's not very good. It simply fall in, fell into the meta because of people who saw other people use it very well. And the majority of the community does not use it well. So, I mean, that's that. This is, this is something I see often. Dead by Daylight is very thinly split between killer mains and survivor mains. Killers hate survivor mains, and survivor mains infamously hate killer mains because survivors think they hate the devs and they're targeting their hate toward the devs because they feel that killers are getting buffed and buffed and buffed and survivors are getting nerfed and nerfed and nerfed. And what they fail to realize is that survivors have been infinitely more powerful than the killer for a very long time. And for a 4v1 game where the killer is the one that's supposed to have the power, I don't you're not playing the right game dog i mean the killer is supposed to be the one that's killing you not the killers not the survivors killing the killer so to for people saying that just survivors are getting nerfed and nerfed and nerfed heavily nerfed and it's not fun anymore i have to ask did you only play this game to bully killers because it's not really the optimal dead by daylight experience to be bullying killers all the time and to just be playing to hate on people and the community is very toxic, and this is the known thing for many, many years because it's just a game that's engineered so that literally anything you do can be seen as like disrespectful to anybody. So it's very hard to do something nice in this game. Uh, so it, it's a very heated discussion, especially when new things happen like this that are very monumental. But uh, I have, I have to admit that uh, I feel like. Killers definitely need this, and killers need everything they can get because uh, ki killers that aren't powerful uh, um, are 
at a big disadvantage and they ruin the experience for killers so survivors are basically being completely selfish when they say that uh, survivors are getting nerfed because they don't care about the killers experience at all and this is something I experience being both sides mains and I can also see where the killer mains are wrong they are very defensive about uh, what survivors say because they think they're all entitled like Ochido uh, the infamous Ochido, who recently got banned on PS4, but is still somehow making content, uh, it, it has poisoned this community, and it's really awful to see all the survivor remains that ins inspiration from him, and all I see anytime I tune into one of his videos to, like, make sure if he's, uh, gotten onto Xbox or uh, something, I see, like, the, all the comments are just his fanboys, a huge army of them, and it's it's really awful. Uh, so, I feel like if there's anyone that's in the wrong, it's definitely the survivor side for uh, being so entitled and thinking that this whole game around revolves around their best experience playing this game. You know what? Killers have been tortured by this perk for years and years and years, and to see that it's finally being nerfed heavily and it's not even bad anymore it's like a completely different perk and it works for its right it gives you a second chance when you get tunneled and it's an anti-tunnel perk now and that is brilliant and probably the best solution we could have come up with when we're talking about nerfing decisive strike and some people are still mad about this because it's not the same uh, it's gonna give you pretty much the same like experience it's just not gonna be weaponized as a toxic just like second chance whatever which was bad and not balanced now the game is balanced and we're finally making strides into the balanced portion of the dead by daylight life cycle and i feel like this is all good i just don't want the devs to see all the survivors hate and review bombing the game oh decisive strike is gone i'm uninstalling please behavior this will be a change for the better you will not regret making these decisions for nerfing these things because the community has uh been let down by you guys so many times for uh not implementing ideas that were promised nine months ago so please nerf decisive strike do it it needs to be nerfed the survivor mains can whine all they want that's what they're made to do it's whine they ruin the experience for the game uh Killer mains are only uh, talking about this because it's in their own right to do so. Uh, because they are the weaker side. And it, 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 for a uh, 3v1 uh, asymmetrical horror game experience where the killer is supposed to be the one in power and for the survivors to be running around with flashlights and decisive strikes, uh, it makes you think, where, where did Dead by Daylight go wrong? So, this change is a good change. Survivor mains, just stop being toxic, please. We don't want you guys here. And with that, I'm going to end this little discussion. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like and comment. I'll see you guys think. And remember, stay gamer.